Hello everyone. Lovely to be with you, even if it isn't quite in person. What story are you doing today, Ham? I'm all ready. In fact, I'm ready for a sit down. I've been gambling around in the fields all morning. Where's Harley? I'm here, ready and listening. You're not here. I am. Where? I'm trying to keep two metres away from everyone. Don't be daft, Harley. You're an animal. We don't need to worry about that. Oh! Oh, what a relief. I can't bear the thought of having to be two metres away from everyone. I think we might be all a lot safer if you did. I think it must be very hard to have to stay away from people you'd like to be with. And that is sort of what today's story is all about. Did you write it specially? No, it's from the Bible. I did wonder whether you and Larissa here might like to act it out whilst I'm reading it. That's what the children might normally do if they were in church. Oh, yes, yes, please. That will be so exciting. Yeah, we, we really need one other person. Uh, I wonder if Reverend Neil would oblige. Oh, hello. Did I hear that my acting skills might be required? Marvellous. Just tell me where you want me. Thank you, Reverend Neil. Um, perhaps you and Larissa can be the two friends and, and you, Harley, can be Jesus. Oh, uh, oh, oh, how exciting. Uh, I, ne I never got to play Jesus before. Oh, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Calm, calm down, calm down, Harley. You're not in at the beginning. Listen out for your cue. Oh. Now, now, Larissa and Reverend Neil, imagine you were two of Jesus' friends. I don't need to imagine. I am his friend. I meant friends with him when he walked the earth. In, in this story, the Bible doesn't say who they were, except that they were followers of Jesus and they were very sad that he had gone. But, but he hadn't gone. He'd risen. Yes, yes, I know that. But these two people either didn't know or didn't understand. So, so they were sad because they thought they couldn't be with him anymore. So go on, you two. Walk along looking sad. They had decided to go home, which was a village called Emmaus, and they were walking along the road and talking about Jesus' death on the cross and wishing it hadn't happened. I'll tell you, I'll tell you on yet. Not yet, n nearly. Wait, wait for your cue. Oh. <clears throat> As the two friends were walking along, a stranger came along and started walking with them. A stranger came along and started walking with them. Uh, Harley, Harley, that's your cue. You didn't say Jesus. It, it was Jesus. They just didn't recognise him. Oh, uh, I, I see. Uh, yeah. oh, 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 so sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I said he walked along beside them. He didn't bash into them and knock them over. Oh, sorry. I, I just walk along beside them, OK? Yes. Now, the stranger walked along beside them for a bit and then he asked them why they were sad. Harley, look, Harley, look like you're asking them a question. Yes, 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 that'll do. Where was I? Oh, yes, he asked them why they were sad and they said he must be the only person in Jerusalem who didn't know Jesus was dead. And then they told him that there were rumours that he'd risen from the dead. Well, he had, hadn't he? Yes, yes, but Ham, Ham said they didn't realise that yet. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Larissa. To continue... The stranger then started explaining to them from the Bible... I haven't got a Bible. Just pretend, Harley. Now, the stranger started explaining to them why Jesus came and why he had to die, and he showed them different bits right through the Bible that talked about him. Eventually they got to Emmaus, and the stranger made as if to continue on, but the two friends insisted that he came in for a meal. That was nice. Shh! And, and it was as he sat with them and said a blessing and broke the bread to share with them that they suddenly realised that he wasn't a stranger at all. He was Jesus. They were thrilled. But almost at that moment, he disappeared. Oh, well done, Harley. Now, the two friends told each other how they should have realised when he was explaining everything to them. And they decided to go back to Jerusalem straight away and tell everyone that they knew it was true that Jesus had come back to life. I enjoyed that. I, I, I did. I, I really enjoyed that. Can I play Jesus again? But, but Ham, how does that story help all the people who can't be with the people they love at the moment? Because, because it reminds us that whatever road we are walking along at the moment in life, however difficult, 
Jesus is walking beside us. We don't always realize like those two friends, but he's there all the same. Thank you, Ham, and the actors. You can go now. Now, everyone, I have a task for you. The children will be particularly good at this, but I have a feeling some of the adults will too. Uh, I'm thinking especially of you, Cheryl, and you too, Gwenda, and I'm particularly thinking of you, Di. I want to see you do this. I want to see you in action. I'm going to send out a link to a video song. It's one you'll all know, and there's a dance to it. I want you all to video yourselves dancing to the video and send your videos to Karen and John and they will put them all together into one video for next week and we can enjoy dancing together. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea with Ida now. It's lovely spending this time with you. We should be isolated more. I get more action then. You see me more often. Anyway, bye now. Bye. Love to you all. God bless. God bless.